Hello, I'm Booney Drew, the Esoteric Rambler. Today is April 5th, 2022. So I finally finished packing up my van, getting ready for my trip. I am leaving town. Uh, I'm leaving on a van. I don't know when I'll be back again. <laughs> so I'm guess this is kind of not an official tour, but I'm, I want to show you like how I went about packing everything that I think I'm gonna need. The hard part about packing that way is, is, is just throwing all of your shit out on, into the center of the floor and then uh, rummaging through it and deciding what you need and what you don't need. Because when you're living in a vehicle, there's, there's no space at all. So you can only take the bare essentials. You have to live minimalist. You don't need uh, extra crap. You just need what you need. Let me show you what I did. First off, what I think is very important to have is a good gym bag. This is just a $10 bag that I got from Walmart. Just a, a big duffel bag. In here I have everything that I, I would need. Like if I wanted to stay in a motel or if I wanted to go to the gym. Athletic shorts, a change of clothes, all of my toiletries for shower. I got a, a towel. Headache medicine is very important because I have migraines like you wouldn't believe. This is all like, like quick access stuff. Like I'll, I'll set it right here on top of the fridge while I'm driving. And if I need to, to reach back and grab you know, some, some antacid because I had some, some funky burritos or something. Then I could grab that. I have a, uh, a laptop bag and I put that under the bed. So if I had to pick up and go, those two bags are ready with everything I need to stay somewhere else overnight. I have this, this crate thing here. I forget where I got it. I've had it for years, but um, it's a good place to store extra shoes. I have a mesh... Oh, these are all Walmart bags. There's like 30 Walmart bags in here that I rolled down. I actually made a video. <laughs> I made a, a tutorial video on how to, how to make this little Walmart bag storage thing. And this is where it goes. It lives right here. You see? Isn't that better than a big trashy Walmart bag collection? And I have, uh, I have curtains that go up here and also like um, a thing that you drape over so the window can be open, but it, it, it blocks out the bugs from coming in. So I have both of those items and I keep it in here. And that goes down here. And that egg crate thing is a, it's a, it's a cup holder. If I, uh, if I'm doing like gig economy stuff and I'm delivering, I can put drinks in there. And here's the, yeah, you know, this is the bag. Obviously I was working earlier, so. <laughs> and I utilize this space down here. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So I get one, I get one drawer down here. You just gotta use every nook and cranny of your little vehicle, anywhere you can stuff things. But um, I just wanna put this here in case I need to give somebody a ride or something. I can just pull this out, throw it in the back and they can sit, they can sit here and ride with me. Cause back there, there's nothing. I took out all the seats. It's just a bed and a desk. So you can't, that's not a safe place to go driving down the highway back there. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but if you get in an accident, you're gonna go flying. And you can put this random shit in here. I got some space in there. So next up behind the seat, there's some space. I got this little wire basket thing. This was in the uh, bathroom section of Walmart. It's supposed to go in your shower, I guess, but I'm just using it as a place to put different kinds of cleaners. Urine gone. That's important to have if because you have to pee in bottles. I even have some <laughs> if you don't want to get out and go searching for a bathroom. Pee in one of these. And you know, no matter how hard you try, you're gonna have a mistake every once in a while. It just happens. You, maybe sometimes it'll just be like a, a few drops or whatever. But urine stinks so bad. If you hit it with this really quick, I guess you get this at the pet the pet section of like Target or something. I think that's where I got this. Spray that on, let it soak for five minutes. It breaks down like the, the funky smell somehow. I don't know. I'm not sure how it does it, but I've used it. It works. There's no pee smell in here. And I've had a, a, a couple mishaps. <laughs> Just say, you try hard, but it, it's, it's, it's inevitable. So there's a little tip for you about how to get rid of that smell. 
And I got my fridge. I haven't stocked the fridge yet. But, um, yeah, that's one of the last things I'm going to do before I leave. But this is a good fridge here. I'll keep it at 28 degrees. <laughs> so, moving back here. That's the front. It's everything I could fit in the front. This bag is going to be right there. And that's where it's going to live. That's its permanent place, unless I'm, I'm delivering and driving and stuff. So then I can stretch out fully on this bed. I installed this coat hanger here. I actually went through the... Uh, there's a, a guard rack on top that comes on the minivan. So I drilled through that. Then I drilled through the frame of the van. And I ran a long bolt through. And I got this this rod from Home Depot. So I drilled through the rod and I just put I put it through the bolt and bolted it in, you see? And I made, it's a very sturdy uh, coat hanger. I could probably do pull-ups off of it or something. It's really, it's really strong because it's, it's tied into that, that, uh, that rack on the top, the roof rack. And then I got, I got these clips here from Walmart so that I can, I can pin the clothes so they're not all swaying around. Back behind here, I got this thing from Amazon. And um, here I have like a little solar powered radio thing. It gets like weather stations or whatever. It has a hand crank on it. It works pretty good. I got some extra Gorilla tape made from freshly skinned alive and boiled gorillas. That's why it's so strong. I swear. <clears throat> you know, I got some lamp oil right here. So I have a little lamp, a little oil lamp in here. So this thing is, is pretty handy too. I can't put it on that one because on this seat because of this all this is in the way. But this is extra storage space I can use for something. So these are pretty good. I drilled a hole Actually, I forgot how I did this. I think I think I zip tied it somehow. I drilled a little hole into this thing. And so it's not all shifting back and forth. Now underneath this carpet, this is shag carpet I got from Walmart. There is a, there is a storage compartment. And that used to be where you would fold forward the seat the seats that were back here and they'd go down in there but um i pulled all that out so i put in some deep cycle batteries down in here i actually bolted them down so and then i i, I sealed it all up it's all sealed i can't even access it anymore unless i cut this all open i'm hoping i'm not going to need to but um i shouldn't see why i need to be down there when i was installing those batteries i almost like burned my hand to the bone like I, I didn't i'm not sure what happened i crossed wires uh <laughs> i accidentally touched the wrong part of, of something to the to the to the, the battery terminal and i just saw like this shower of, of freaking sparks and then when i looked at what i touched to it it was like it was burnt through so <laughs> i was very lucky that wasn't my, my finger wasn't touching it or something but yeah so i don't even want to go back in there into that battery compartment. It's it's set up the way it's supposed to be. I, I followed a very uh, s specific diagram. I'm not sure why it works. I just I just knew what to plug together to make it work. So I'm not gonna go in there. <clears throat> and there's another one of these compartments down here. And uh, underneath here, I uh, I put some wood along it, so I, I turned it into a sealed off area so that the two compartments wouldn't be connected anymore. And then I painted it over with this rubber flex, it's called flex seal or something like that. And it's just like this rubber coating. So I turned this whole area into a sink. So, and, and then I went under the van and I drilled a hole so that that would be the drain. So this is actually a sink area where I could if I had to, you don't have a lot of room. It'd be, I'd, I'd be squatting, but I could take like a little squatting shower. I could clean in here. And then I can drain the water into a bucket or something and, 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 or just let, it, just let it flow underneath the van, who cares? 
this is a hot water heater it comes with a shower head so I would just shower I would use the the shower thing maybe take kind of like a sponge bath shower off with some hot water and then yeah that's gonna that's gonna that's my little bathroom area because I can go a day or two but after a while <laughs> you get I get pretty funky I don't know about everybody else but it's that uh, I need to be uh, just bathing makes you feel human so I just need to stay bathed this is my solar this is just a big piece of composite board and I drilled holes using a hole saw and bought these different components like this is this is for the, the lights so I have white lights and then I have red lights for night time because red light doesn't carry as far and it's all underneath it's all underneath the uh, the window level so I could have the red lights on and be be reading or whatever right here and nobody would see that was my thought on that and uh bought this charge controller kit from Amazon. It had everything I needed. I had to buy this separately. This is like a fuse box kind of thing. All the 12 volt plugins. I got six 12 volt plugins. This is for a fan. I got a bunch of USB chargers. Those are USB chargers. This is to the fridge. I can leave the fridge plugged in all day and all night and it it probably draws like 5% of the battery a day. So it's really efficient fridge. And this is just an extra one in case I need to plug a, you know, an air compressor to air out the tires or something. I just leave that one unoccupied. And I can plug in, you know, regular home appliances into this because I have this inverter here. But this draws so much power, it's better just to try to use 12 volt stuff. Because I have two deep cycle batteries, the total amp hours is about 350. So you can only use half of that because if you go, if you use more than half of your battery power, it damages the battery. So at the end of the day, I can't, I can't do much. I can't be using this huge thing to power uh, heavy appliances because it just drains the battery so quick. But these little fans here, little 12 volt flat fan, it blows like, like a tornado. It's fast, I got three of them. Oh, I'll put this one over here. So, those can keep you pretty cool. And then I have these vent fans, and these are, oh, there's something pressing against it, all right. Fifth fans, these are connected to uh, that fuse box over there, so it doesn't draw too much power. And it's a good way to suck out like bad, evil smells. Evil smells and, and untidiness attracts it attracts evil, evil spirits. So <laughs> I want to make sure I try to keep it tidy and clean smelling in here. At least that's what my mama used to say. I don't know. And I took my my guitar under here between these two posts with this strap I got this little guitar bag there's no padding on it got it from Amazon it was like 15 bucks but if I turn the guitar towards the wall and the neck will kind of go down here and here's some some extra lamp oil I just set on top of it it fits pretty good right there I mean that's that works out pretty well I can play guitar comfortably in here and when I cut this desk I tried to make it, I tried to drill out these holes to fit what was already there. So, and even this, I put a little, that's an actual, that's an oil lamp. So that's an extra source of light. And I got this thing. It actually, it generates a little heat. You're not gonna warm up this, this whole van with it. I thought, I thought it would do better than it did actually. And I have it, you know, this is magnetic, so it won't move around. It has a magnetic base that I added to it. So now what I do is I just use it 
to warm up wax. <laughs> Just to kind of keep it clean smelling. Lemon lavender, very nice. And I drilled this, when I made this top shelf here, that's a good place to set up your laptop or your USB speaker. I drilled this hole so it could hold that or you could put a water bottle in there. Extra storage space, so you can store stuff in there. You can store stuff in here. A little space, this is like a, it's like a cell phone holder. I got this plastic box at Walmart in the camping section. I guess it's, uh, it's supposed to be waterproof, but just using what's already on the van, this this bolt here was for the seat belts. So I took the seat belt out, but I put the bolt back. So now I'm using it as a hook for this, this uh, plastic compartment. And then I, I, I bought a mirror, just a mirror from like the makeup section of Walmart. <laughs> and I, t I took the, the mirror out and I just put, you know, roll some Gorilla tape attached it on there and now I have a now I have a place to look at my face make sure there's nothing up my nose you know no boogers or whatever <laughs> when I go out for the day or I can shave in the mirror or whatever so uh, I took this is a this is a diesel tank for the uh, for the heater I kind of have, have it bungeed in there with this stick so, and plus this this whole shelf is holding it in so that's not going anywhere it kind of stinks so i had i had a, a diesel accident so it smells a little dieselly back here so you know no matter what you do there's going to be spills but and uh i put my propane tank down here that can run the shower i've got different kitchen appliances like i actually know how to fill how to refill up these these pro these coleman propane tanks that have a little adapter that you can put on there and it'll, it'll actually refill the whole the little one so i got a little stove that runs on these propane tanks these little ones and then i can refill it from this one i can also attach this to the uh, hot water heater there's a there's a line that goes under the bed that'll give me instant hot water so i got frying pans uh pots stuff like that this is this water jug thing here is um, I got it from Walmart. It actually collapses, so I can I can squeeze it into this this shelf that I got, which I which I got from Amazon. It was actually it was taller than this. I had to. What I did was I flipped it over, and then I screwed it into this floor that I made down here. It's a floor just I made out of you know just old wood that I that I had, and I screwed it into that. So it's it's sturdy. It's holding this extra water. And holding uh, this uh, this oven. Okay. <clears throat> I was actually just going to show you, you know, where I store stuff. I wasn't planning on giving you a full tour. So here's the bed. And um, <clears throat> I also have these nets here that I, I just attached to the coat rack. I actually ended up breaking the coat. The coat hook, so I drilled a hole through it instead, and then I, I fed the strap into it. So now it's much sturdier. I don't think it could hold too much weight. I think it could still break again. But I, I'm thinking of putting like boxes of cereal, or you know, I got I got a collapsible bucket in there. I got a uh, some plates, you know, stuff like that, just like pantry stuff I could put up there. So that's what that storage area is going to be for. All right, now, if I flip up this bed, you can see that there's there's these two big water tanks here. That's where that's what the shower is gonna run off of. Each one of these is 10 gallons. So I actually have a pump that goes in there. It attaches to the 12 volt, and then it attaches to the propane tank, and it gives you a hot shower. But under here, I have all different kinds of bags that I got. I got a big pack of just different colored stringed bags. So I uh, I put all my stuff in these different bags and I, I stuffed as many down here as I can. I got a laundry bag and I even have more 
underneath the floor I made, there's there's some down in there. So I stuffed as much as I could into those different colored bags. And then I, I wrote down everything I put in each of those bags. So it'll say like, you know, blue bag, it has your shaving kit. It has your extra pencils or whatever. I kept, I made an inventory list of everything and what bag it's in. So that, and I put it on a Word document. So if I needed like to look at what I have, I can look at that. Or if I needed to find something and I forgot where I put it, I can do a word search. I can search for like, where, where did I put my zip ties? And I do that word search and it shows me exactly where it is on the van. So that way I can keep track of everything. All right, moving on to the next storage area. Okay, now I'm outside the van. Up here I have this big duffel that I got from Amazon. It's uh, it's it's waterproof and uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get into. But putting that up there and throwing these three ratchet straps over it, I fit everything extra that I think that I thought I might need. I, I think I have a I have a little buddy of propane heater in there. I have a printer for some reason. Maybe I'll need to print something, I don't know. And I don't want to go to a library. And these uh in these contractor bags I have I have a big ass spring bar spring line tent. So I don't know, I'm I, I'm just decided to take that. I don't know if I'll need it. So that's the rest of my stuff up there. here I have like extra food I have like emergency food I took out the spare tire that goes up there it's a compartment that it actually drops down so I took that out I wrapped up some emergency cans of like long shelf life food it's like 20 year shelf life food and I put it in there so hopefully that food keeps I don't know and I put a water filter in there just in case, because you never know. So there she is. All packed up and ready to go. Please, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing some more videos on living in your vehicle. Stuff like that. I lived in my vehicle before, so I kind of know what I do, what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what I learned along the way. Thanks, Bart.